In this video, we'll look at the analysis of MOSFET circuits at DC. A MOSFET, like the diode, is a nonlinear device and has different operating characteristics in different modes. There's mainly three modes that we need to think about. So the first step in the analysis of any MOSFET circuit at DC is to determine what operating mode the transistors are in. The first of these operating modes that we considered is cutoff. When the gate source voltage is less than the threshold voltage. In the cutoff, the drain current is zero. So we can model the drain source connection as simply an open circuit. The second operating mode we considered is triode. So in triode region, we found that the MOSFET behaves as if there's a resistance between drain and source. The value of the resistance, RDS, can be found in terms of the overdrive voltage and device constants. Now we found that this simple resistor model for triode region MOSFET starts becoming less accurate as the drain source voltage approaches the overdrive voltage. So keep that in mind. Finally, the third operating mode we considered was saturation. Saturation arises when, again, VGS exceeds the threshold voltage, but when VDS is greater than the, threshold, than the overdrive voltage. In such cases, a simple model is the square law model, shown here. Now for added accuracy, we can take into account the finite output resistance as well. And that would just take into account the slope on the IV characteristic once in saturation. So remember that when you're analyzing MOSFET circuits at DC, if you make a mistake in identifying which operating mode the transistor is in, but you follow through the analysis properly, you will find an inconsistency in the result. For example, if you think that a MOSFET's cut off and you replace it with this model here, you must then go through the analysis and find that indeed VGS is less than the threshold voltage. If not, if you instead you carry out the analysis with this model and you find that VGS is greater than the threshold voltage, then there's an inconsistency in your solution and you must have made a mistake when you originally um, believed that the MOSFET was cut off. Same goes for triode or saturation. Each has its own operating uh, requirements that have to be satisfied. And if the analysis reveals that they're not satisfied, then try a different operating point and uh, do the analysis again. With time, you'll develop intuition for the analysis and you won't make these kind of mistakes anymore. You'll know what operating mode the transistor's in just by a cursory inspection of the circuit. But at first, you may find that you need to redo some analysis. The best way to get comfortable with analyzing MOSFET circuits at DC is simply to practice. So here's a simple example to get us started. Here we're asked to find the value of the resistors RD and RS, given some information here. ID is 0.2 milliamps and the drain voltage is 0 0.2 volts. You're also given all the constants associated with the MOSFET. So we can get started by finding RD pretty straightforwardly, just by application of Ohm's law. We know first of all that there's 0.8 volt drop across RD. We know that the current through it is 0.2 milliamps. So RD is simply 0 0.8 volts over 0 0.2 milliamps, which is 4 kilo ohms. Now, the more difficult part of the problem is to find the value of RS. And the reason is because it involves the nonlinear IV characteristic of the MOSFET. First thing to point out is that for this enhancement mode MOSFET, since the drain voltage is actually above the gate voltage, 
we're guaranteed that as long as this transistor is on, it's definitely in saturation. Moreover, we know that there's current flowing through it because we're told the drain current is 0 0.2 milliamps. So we know that the transistor is on. And um, thanks to the fact that we know the drain voltage, we know that it must be in saturation. So we're going to do an approximate analysis, ignoring the finite output resistance of the MOSFET, and simply apply the square law to find what VGS must be. I like to first find the overdrive voltage using the square law equation. And uh, then we just have to add the threshold voltage to find VGS. Now, in this case, let's say we're told that mu NC aux is 400 microamps per volt squared. And let's say W is 15 micrometers and L is half a micrometer. And of course, we can see right from the schematic that ID is 0 0.2 milliamps. So with those device constants and the drain current, we can simply rearrange and solve for VOV. Turns out VOV is 180 milliamps in this case, uh, millivolts, sorry. Finally, knowing that the threshold voltage given is 0 0.5 volts, so we can find VGS. It's just the sum of VOV and the threshold voltage, 0 0.68 volts. Knowing that, we've now established the source voltage. It's 0 0.68 volts below ground. From here, we know that the voltage across RS must be 0 0.32 volts. And then since the drain current is equal to the source current, we know that there's 0.2 milliamps flowing through that resistor RS, giving rise to that 0 0.32 volt drop. So we can finally solve for RD. It turns out we get a value of 1.6 kilo ohms. So that's it. That's what we're asked to find RS and RD. So that's a pretty straightforward example. But again, you'll see that often the most complicated part arises when you have to apply the square law or some nonlinear relationship because we don't have all the tools for linear, um, for solving systems of linear equations. We can't straightforwardly apply. Um, you know, nodal equations and get a system of linear equations that can be solved methodically. So um, that's why we, we always like to linearize circuits whenever possible. But for analyzing MOSFET circuits at DC, unfortunately, we do have to deal with those nonlinear equations. So um, best thing, as I said, is to give it some practice and uh, take a look. There's plenty more example videos posted for you to take a look at and uh, work through a bunch of practice problems.